the darkness. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! The darkness, master. The darkness. The darkness. I don't want to sound like a nihilist here, but here's the thing. If you're willing to accept the darkest truth about this human experience, and that is that we probably do not matter all that much. All of this is probably for naught. I mean, we're probably just a speck of dust in big, wildly vast and uncaring multiverse and that we will decay and that our earthly embodiment will someday be forgotten. If we can come to accept this truth, then we can come to appreciate the power of purpose and meaning. What is our purpose? What is the meaning of this human experience? Well, I think it's all what we attach to it. We make that stuff up ourselves through dreams, ideas, circumstances, and experiences. We are responsible for attaching meaning to things. That's why words were invented. That's the bottom line. So by appreciating the darkness of it all, the reality that we that, that, that there are no real universalities to all of this, that we probably do not matter as much as our parents or teachers or mentors ma made us out to, to, to be, well, then we can matter. We can then have an influence on our environment. We can then attribute and develop purpose and meaning to things or else our lives get consumed by the darkness and become meaningless. By accepting the meaninglessness of our life, we empower ourselves to then become its true creator. And then purpose and meaning simply becomes a game of cultivating deeper and deeper intuition. When you come to appreciate the darkness and honor its presence and not try to stifle, suppress, or deny it, it can become a very empowering tool. And with enough spiritual growth, your darkness can even become a guiding light to your purpose. <laughs>